The Last Days of Allison and Jesse, a post-apocalyptic horror story with a deadly end. The sun had just broken the horizon, casting a deep, orange glow over the desolate landscape. Jesse shuffled forward, trying to take each step with as little noise as possible. He was careful to look over his shoulder for any signs of life, though he knew deep down he'd find nothing. The world had been reduced to dust, scoured by some unknown force and left barren. Jesse had been wandering the wasteland for months now, looking for any sign of hope or life. But there was none. He had only been able to survive on whatever scraps remained from the disaster. Jess's thoughts were soon interrupted by the sound of footsteps, slowly but steadily making their way down the street. He quickly ducked into an alley, hiding behind some broken rubble. Peeking around the corner, Jessie saw a woman walking down the street, her eyes scanned the area as if she was looking for something. There was something familiar about her. Jessie shook his head, trying to remember where he'd seen her before. Then it hit him, it was his old friend Allison. Jessie stepped out of the alley, calling Allison's name. She stopped, her eyes searching the area until she spotted him. After a moment of hesitation, she ran towards him, throwing her arms around him in an embrace. Jessie laughed, relieved to find another survivor in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Allison told Jessie her story of how she had managed to survive the disaster. She had been living in a bunker for months, scavenging whatever she could from the ruined buildings and surviving on canned food and rainwater. She was tired and scared, but determined to keep going. Together, Jessie and Allison set out for a better future. They spent the days scavenging for food and supplies and the nights huddled together around a small fire for warmth. The two of them had formed a strong bond, relying on each other for comfort and security. One night, Jesse and Allison heard a strange sound coming from the darkness. At first, they thought it was just a wild animal, but it quickly became clear that it was more than that. It was the sound of someone, or something, crying. Terrified, the two of them decided to investigate. Cautiously, they crept towards the sound, trying not to make any noise. As they got closer, they started to make out a human form, huddled in a corner. The figure was sobbing uncontrollably, its body shaking with each shuddering breath. Jesse and Allison cautiously stepped closer, their eyes searching the darkness for any sign of danger. The figure looked up at them, their eyes wide with fear. It was an old man, his face wrinkled with age and his hair gray and matted down. He had been living in the ruins, surviving on whatever scraps he could find. The man's eyes lit up with hope, as he realized Jesse and Allison had found him. He begged the two of them to take him with them, and Jesse agreed to help. He knew the old man couldn't survive on his own in the ruined world. Jesse and Allison continued on their journey, bringing the old man with them. They continued scavenging for food and supplies, and soon their small group became a tight-knit family. But one night, their safe haven was invaded. A group of raiders appeared, seemingly out of nowhere, surrounding their hideout. They demanded to know where Jesse and Allison had found the old man, and threatened to kill them all if they didn't tell them. The old man stepped forward, telling the group he was from an underground bunker. He explained that the bunker was filled with supplies and weapons, and that if the raiders could get to it, they could become rich. The raiders agreed, and marched the group down to the bunker. Once inside, the raiders looted the entire place, taking whatever they could find. Jesse and Allison were thrown in the corner and forgotten. As the raiders left, they sealed the door shut with explosives, trapping Jesse and Allison inside the bunker. The two of them searched the bunker, finding enough supplies to last them months. But they also discovered something else, a strange creature lurking deep in the darkness. 
It was hideous, with sharp claws and teeth, and it seemed to be looking right at them. Jesse and Allison were horrified, but luckily they were able to keep the creature at bay. As the days passed, they managed to outsmart the creature and survive in the bunker. But one night, the creature finally got the better of them. It cornered the two of them, its claws extended and its eyes gleaming with malice. Jesse and Allison were helpless, and soon their screams echoed through the bunker. The next morning, the raiders returned to the bunker to find Jesse and Allison's corpses, mangled beyond recognition. The old man, however, had vanished. The raiders searched for him, but he had vanished without a trace. They searched for months, but he was never seen again. It was as if he had simply vanished into the night. To this day, no one knows what happened to the old man. But some say if you wander the post-apocalyptic wasteland at night, you can still hear the sound of his sobbing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.